नमस्कार अशोक इम्पोर्टेंट यू डेज ब्रिंग समथिंग टू अवर अटेंशन विच अनसेटल विच डिस्टर्ब द होल equation of equilibrium of peace and especially while we are talking to you about bangladesh uh, the possible scenario with the ouster of uh, the bangladeshi leader and the situation that is developing i have the pleasure of welcoming uh, two of my friends one from india and one from uh, new york but he hails from uh, Bangladesh. So first, um, Abu Tahir, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us for a little while. And Thank you. you, I would quickly mention, have been uh, involved in Bangladeshi-oriented newspapers. Uh, you were uh, not just journalist, uh, editor. Now you have uh, this Time Television, which is primarily uh, catering to uh, Bangladeshi Americans. Uh, Suhir Bishji joins us from Delhi. He's a author and a columnist. Uh, so welcome to both of you. Uh, considering uh, the importance of time limitation that you have, Abu, I would like you to begin uh, by sharing. Were you expecting something like this to happen, and uh, was it as much a shock for you as it was for me? Uh, thank you for giving me a chance to talk. But um, uh, about a week ago, even I never think. Even that two days ago, I never think it could that could happen. That what happened today. um and then it's uh, it's really unexpected but another the, the 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 way the present government shaka sinas government rule the country and the way they dominate the uh the others like you know opposition and um, uh the press um, opponent um it was almost certain that um, you know it, it, it has been blamed by almost everyone all the human rights organization european countries united states uh, that in its autocratic government so uh, in the name of democracy basically there is a sh- there is a definitely it's very limited uh, you know uh, freedom of speech freedom of press um, exercised by the people who are uh, who want the uh or not i i'm not going to tell you the critic of the government but you know whatever truth many people years and years they wait to uh exercise whatever truth they have to they want to expose the uh truth but they they, they don't have any chance to um you know to talk whatever they want and also beside of this uh, there is a big uh, you know uh, corruption um and the corruption happen by the people who are beside of the uh, prime minister so i think we we lost him uh, there is something uh, with the technical side but before he comes sudhi ji um, while we wait uh, and it's a symbolic that there is a black uh, space in between us right now representing what is happening in bangladesh but so the the way abu was talking about the scenario uh, looks like people were dissatisfied but that happens in all the democracies but if you replace uh, what he was mentioning with these kind of scenes uh, where you have fire on the streets and of course uh, the major institutes including the house home of uh, uh, bangladeshi uh, leader uh, captured by hooligans uh, that also doesn't give a good picture of uh, bangladesh moving towards orderliness uh, your take uh, sudhir ji and we'll watch if we can come back yeah Thank you very much, uh, Ashok ji, for inviting me, and I hope Abu will join us. It would be good to get the point of view of a Bangladeshi person, and all respect to him. But you know, as 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 belonging to a country which played a key role in the liberation of Bangladesh, so you know, we are all emotionally invested in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the country all Indians uh, really, you know, uh, we we think we are we are friends, and. Uh, we we share a common heritage we share a lot of common border so and bangladesh is not a small country you know in terms of uh, its geographic geographical area it's almost almost 150000 square kilometer it is a large population around you know 16 crore or 165 million uh, so it's an important neighbor the kind of khasina who has been ousted recently right this is sheikh hasina is in her uh, i think mr abu has come back so maybe yeah. we should listen to mr abu's story yeah. first yeah you yeah. you can connect with your thought to him and then he can respond yeah. to that so finish so, your so, 
so mr abu uh, i am dr sudhir bhaiste you know, from india and you know yeah. how we look at how we look at bangladesh is that you know the the amount of progress bangladesh has made as a country in terms of its economic reforms and in terms of the gdp per capita at one time uh, bangladesh is a country everybody was looking up to bangladesh you know yeah. as a model state of course i am not so sure about the uh, about the social unrest there what i understand mm-hmm. is the social unrest has come basically as a student movement against reservations so 30% reservations uh, which was for the freedom fighters so all freedom fighters are supposed to be awami league guys so it was all quotas were mm-hmm. going for the government but what i thought was and you know that the supreme court already and high, uh, the government had uh, finished the quota and high court of calcutta it started the quota again and the supreme court okay said okay there will be only 7% quota so 5% for freedom fighters 1% for religious minorities and 1% for transgenders so i thought the student because you know people bbc cnn everybody is looking at as a protest which started from students who were against quota but the issue mm-hmm. of quota was settled what the, the allegations are while it is true that sheikh hasina she was into her fourth term and she was not so popular you know because you know she did not get a popular mandate last time because mm. the main opposition party bnp did not participate in the polls and she ran away uh, with a big majority the fact of the matter is that uh, there were she was becoming more and more unpopular she was becoming yeah. more yeah. and more yeah. let me let me interrupt you and let him respond this uh, yeah. many people look at it as uh, sort of uh, escalation did you, of did you hear me yeah yeah we you can hear me hear. right Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so as, as, yeah. yeah, as you mentioned about all these things, the, the, yes, yes, the progress, economic progress definitely has been made under the leadership of Sheikh Hasina. There's not a doubt about it. But the thing is, you know, economic, uh, the uh, contribution of the economic progress is, um, I can give the credit of Sheikh Hasina, including the uh, the reform economic reform by the uh, the the governments and then the private entrepreneur who uh, contribute lots to take the advantage I, i think there is some technical problem at his end so he runs a television channel but i believe uh, probably uh, he's getting a lot of uh, messages or something i don't know what is resulting into it so i'm i'm sorry to all our viewers as well as to you but let let me just take a gist of the way he was referring to even your mentioning of the good things that has happened in bangladesh looks like either uh, where he comes from or majority of people were not satisfied with present government and yet uh, the way uh, things have developed doesn't speak good about bangladesh uh, as a democratic nation now um, as as per your information what was the triggering point what led to this <laughs> see my own personal opinion and as is the opinion of people who have been watching bangladesh you know yeah. uh, you know i am uh, myself you know as a as a active management consultant i work in the textile sector and i closely watch the progress of bangladesh in in terms of uh, its rapid strides actually yeah. if you see post covid during covid the consumption like it is said that you know in in us an average man wears a t-shirt only for 12 only for 12 times and 13 time he discards it now that that frequency has become 50 now so that means the demand has grown gone down and the textile industry went into a slump during covid so yes, this had a so let me let me let me finish yeah. my whatever i said i'm sorry yeah. that because the so for yeah. interrupting again and again yeah. so yeah. the economic growth no doubt about it but the when listen when you have everything but you are not allowed to talk whatever you want you are not uh, you know the country's people one of the big portion of the people they always thought they are second class citizen beside of the ruling party then the frustration the anger is grows and it's when the student movement start yes as you mentioned the court gave the verdict uh, uh, ex prime minister be since she i mean she resigned now i have to say ex ex prime minister sheikh hasina she uh, she said oh, yes I, i also want what about the student demand but in the meantime the um, the demonstration 
the movement and the police brutality and the other uh, government part student wing would i mean attacked uh, to the student already um, you know killed about many people say many things but some say more than 500 some say uh, 300 the according to all the newspaper 200 more than 200 students has been killed or people has been killed one student has been killed in the daylight with the by the police and he doesn't have any kind of weapon in his hand and it was very brutal and that's ignited the whole thing and when Sheikh Hasina said okay I agreed and the court they gave the body but in the meantime student demand has been uh, go the yeah. whole movement goes in a different shape they said okay well, since my brother our uh, you know um, the, the comrades they sacrificed their bloods we are not compromising with anything you have to resign and that was one demand you and your government has to resign and that become uh, and then then you know the frustrated people and all uh, the other political yeah. wing as well they get united yes yeah, sir you i i know you might leave us in between so i just wanted to bring in this uh, reference to you in the presence of sudhirji and what we are reading that there is a role of hardliners also now uh, after the takeover and there were uh, some uh, sort of uh, bonding between uh, people who have supported uh, this uh, agitation with uh, maybe isi of pakistan or uh, unconfirmed reports but so how, how do you see overall this scenario uh, turning out to be for bangladesh and allow me also to mention there have been many many issues related to the bangladeshi hindus do you see they are in a worse situation now with this uh, development uh, Abuja? Yeah, let me tell you what in bangladeshi minorities especially the hindus uh, it, it is not about because everybody, all the all the political party, they want to use them f as a trump card for their political purpose. Awami League government and Awami League, they uh, they hard, harmed their interest. They occupied their houses. They took their you know um, property and same like even more than the other any other party belong any other party in Bangladesh than a present government party Awami League. If you talk to the minority leaders in our country, you can get the full statistic. Who are the party? Who are the people took more, uh, you know, um, more harmful for the Hindu minority than any other uh, political party? Um, so, so sometimes they use them. Okay, we are your friend, but ultimately, I mean, the you know, the their property, their other interest, and then the attack and everything happened by them more than any other party, but. You know, the political trump card, everybody use their political, I mean, minority for their own political interest. How many use the minority group for their political interest? Sometimes even there is a there is an accusation that how many party people, sometimes they burn a temple and then they say, okay, the fundamentalist party, they, they burn it, right? But when any anybody burn that kind of thing and then the government people blame the others the media is absolutely uh you know depend on the uh you know security uh and the uh, and the and the and the uh you know government uh, police department yeah, so, yeah, I, I i hear you abuji and let me quickly seek uh Sudhir, no, the, the another thing another thing as, as you mentioned the pakistan and other there is another thing happening since bangladesh become independent more than 50 years now and still the the division in the politics it's hurting the new generation so about if anyone who is only 17 or 18 years or 19 years old and if you talk against the government they said razakar razakar is collaborator of pakistan right so this is that kind of a tag i mean it's called in bangla tag <laughs> so that kind of tag make the uh you know uh the the young people who are born like you know 20 years ago uh 25 years ago who we've never seen the independence uh, uh you know war uh in uh they weren't born even at that time so when they got the uh title like oh you are a razakar or traitor of pakistan and something by the ruling parties make them really angry yeah. the so, bangladesh listen bangladesh need a unity political consensus is very important for the nation if the nation want to stay i mean it's good for the india as well because india should have a stable democracy in their neighbor in their neighbors 
for, for their own security. Because if there is unrest and, uh, you know, that kind of change happen, it's not good for any other country and if any other yeah. nation. So, Abu, allow me to interrupt you and I, I want you to stay for at least some time. I will seek Sudhir's input on uh, one thing about which I will seek your input also, and that is very, very uh, relevant for us. Uh, so, and, and I speak like a layman when I say that before election, when Sheikh Hasina came to power, uh, there were reports that America doesn't want her to be there. But India shares good bonding uh, between the leadership of Sheikh Hasina and Modi. I mean, again, your smile tells me something, but I'll have you say something about it. Um, so, really your take on what I just told you and in terms of Indo-Bangla relationship with this new crisis developing and uh, Sheikh Hasina having landed uh, in uh, India, it, it's a major uh, problem from on many angles. Uh, well, see, see, first of all, I agree that, you know, every country should be stable, you know, democracy must thrive. All human beings who are educated, who have some degree of you know, humanity in them would like every other nation to thrive. But to say that, you know, uh, but to say that uh, India will want Bangladesh to uh, thrive only for its own safety uh, may not be correct. You know, we are human beings, you know, we, we are friends, we are neighbors. We were, we were one country before 1947. So, if you ask me, why should I want Pakistan not to thrive? See, every country, every country, we are all human beings. We are bonded, bonded by by humanity. So, we should all thrive. However, however, I must, I must say that the image, whether it is right image or wrong image, I do not know. The image of Sheikh Hasina is that of a person who. We have not we have not heard about we have not heard heard any numerous tales of her corruption like the corruption uh, being indulged by let us say the rulers in Pakistan. So you know she, these kind of corruption stories are not out yet in the media. We also know that she, that that you know she has a cult status. She being the daughter of uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. What what breaks my heart is that the student leaders. You know I entirely agree with uh, uh, Abu Saab. When he says that, you know, to, to shoot at students, you know, it is, it is pathetic. It is, it, it is, it, it must be condemned with all the might. Mm -hmm. But you see, you see, in 70, you see when Sheikh Hasina came back uh, to a rousing welcome in Pakistan, in, in, in Bangladesh, she was on the side of students. At that time, students were also uh, subject to bullet and she stood by them. So times change, things change. Mm -hmm. I think. I, I personally think that you know in a in a system uh, in in countries which are which are not so developed countries like India Pakistan or Bangladesh or Sri Lanka corruption definitely is a it's, it's a problem. So we, you know, so we, I, I think I'll, I'll bring in Abu uh, question Indo uh, Bangladesh relationship and of course uh, the way Bangladesh is likely to uh, find its new identity with this transition. How uh, how do you see it? Whatever reports you are getting, it things are going to normalize soon, or it's likely to result into more violent protests, etc. Okay, so India Bangladesh relation is kind of uh, you know uh, strange since a uh, long time. Uh, the government sometimes some government, in, including Sheikh Hasina's government. As uh, let me finish a clear one thing. Uh, as you mentioned about the corruption, Sheikh Hasina, uh, the, I don't, we don't have any report that she did anything, any corruption. But side of her, say about a uh, police chief of Bangladesh, um, um, few uh, who served under the uh, uh, Sheikh Hasina government, he had a big, huge corruption scandal uh, come out in the press. Then Sheikh Hasina herself, few uh, weeks ago, she mentioned, oh, uh, my, um, my, uh, like, you know, uh, housekeeper who has 400 crore taka, he's the owner of the 400 crore taka now. She said by herself. So the guy who even used to sell a water in front of her house, how he become 400, the owner of the 400 crore taka. And then it's uh, a mentioning by uh, herself, um, the Prime Minister herself. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. You made your point and I don't dispute that because I don't have enough data and what you're saying, let's say she's corrupt. But the question is... She, I'm not telling herself, but her surrounding. 
have a lot of corruption happen. No doubt right. about it. Yeah. You know. No, the reason I'm jumping is because now in the seven minutes we are trying to see where next what is happening to bangladesh now how do you see reports is it going to normalize soon uh, what okay so the 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 army chief he has a briefing today and then there is no government i mean formal government bangladesh right now under right now the army chief is a kind of executive and the president is the head of the state uh, by tomorrow i think they are going to form a interim uh, government uh, well, they are talking with the student leaders as well, who moved the whole movement, and then they will form a uh, interim government. And I think the interim government will talk with the president, and uh, they will uh, decide when they can hold the election uh, under the. Um, I, I don't know. Still, it's not clear yet how they will have the election, and then election new election will happen, and then the new government will form. So it's, uh, if things normalize soon, it is better for the region, whichever way it goes. But another thing which I foresee may happen, based on what we have seen in the world over, uh, when one country is uh, in a turmoil, then a lot of people want to flee because of various reasons. And so yeah. we already have the question of many uh, Bangladeshis entering Indian shores illegally, etc. Mm -hmm. Now in this situation, do you foresee that escalating because uh, there would be various reasons where people will feel uh, maybe unsafe in Bangladesh at the moment and what is likely to be the approach of Indian government in this crisis situation, Sudhir? Okay, so listen, no, I, I'm, yeah. in, I'm in New York, so I'm not in Bangladesh. No, so I yeah, don't no, know no, all no. All this, yeah. but, but let me tell you what, there is a report coming and there is a, uh, we have friends, journalist friends, they are telling me there is a lot of... Uh, uh, the um, Awami League, which is a ruling uh, Sheikh Hasina's party's people, they already flew from different countries, uh, the MPs, the ministers, and some big business people, they are already flew. The people who cannot flew, they definitely, they will try because, you know, the uh, student, the angry people, the people who want to take advantage, and they, then the opponent who uh, was victim many times by police and ruling party, they will take, you know, they are, when that kind of thing happens, it's, yeah. you know, so un, 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 unrest and a uh, lot of people try to take the revenge of the uh, situation. So uh, many people they could, who were not flew from Bangladesh to any, any other country might be, they will think that, okay, well, I have to have a safe place to go neighboring country like India. Yeah, or let, let us, yeah, let us hear Sudhirji also before we conclude uh, real quick. Sudhirji on this uh, crisis, and the potential uh, increase of inflow of uh, migrants from Bangladesh to India? I think the way it has played out uh, over television, it, it, it gives a very ugly picture of the youth of Bangladesh. It is a sad but true. You know, I know many Bangladeshi students who are doing their PhD in Aligarh Muslim University. I was on a lecture tour there. I met them, wonderful people, you know, they're very, very brilliant people. But I spoke to one of them. He said the images, unfortunately, he was himself ashamed. People entering the prime ministerial house and, you know, uh, ravaging the, pri the personal uh, private property of the prime minister. It was very ugly. And uh, I know, I know, I know the, the, the pent up feeling is there and it finds manifestation in such acts. But it has given a very horrible uh, view because you know anybody anybody who's a bengali you expect extreme culture a, 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 you know a, a very cultured uh, thing so it has come as a bit of a shock the uh, second thing is definitely uh, if if the if the country will go through a period of instability a lot of infiltration will happen strangely enough in the last 10 years the infiltration into india had stopped because there was a time bangladeshi economy had become so vibrant that there was kind of reverse investment, you know, Indian businesses, they are going and establishing uh, looms and other things in uh, Bangladesh, but that, that, that would have reversed now. And, you know, perhaps there will be infiltration, but all the, all the troops, BSF, everybody has been put on double alert. And I'm sure the government will uh, play its part. As far as India is concerned today, we have already seen the official response of the spokesperson that, you know, India has dealt with uh, Bangladesh governments, which have been military establishment, which have been unelected uh, governments, and India will continue to be a good neighbor and everything will continue as usual. But of course, yeah. India will extend all support to Sheikh Hasina. Definitely, the, definitely, if the country goes into the hand of uh, 
जमात जमाते सपोर्टर्स इट्स अ मेजर इट्स अ इट्स अ मेजर कॉज ऑफ वरी फॉर इंडिया 100% major cause of yeah. so uh, abu just uh, as a lay- layman or someone who loves bangladesh uh, being here in new york how do you see this development uh, you are pained by it or you think that this is something which is going to usher in a new era which would be good for bangladesh or or what is your general feeling uh, uh, as he mentioned about jamaat and other islamic party i think bangladeshi uh, bangladesh is not ready for accepting any religious party to come to the power Bangladesh is very uh, moderate, very liberal, uh, and people are very liberal. Though people are religious, but it doesn't mean that they will accept any kind of religious party uh, as a ruling party in the in in in, in Bangladesh. Um, uh, so, but but there is everywhere. You know, India is ra- ruling by a um, uh, BJP, which is a religious party. uh but uh, yeah, Bang- yeah, i have to <laughs> i have to differ man being a hindu nationalist party the way they are projected all the time is different and the way the islamic nation have uh, when there is a religious yeah. party no i'm coming to the point so i'm yeah. i'm coming to the point yeah. so yeah every country have their own religious party in bangladesh the the religious party also jamaat e islami and some other uh, islamic party uh they exist and uh, jamaat islami is stronger than any other uh, religious party no doubt about it but i, I as i mentioned uh, as a journalist i don't think the uh, you know the country is ready to accept any kind of religious party uh, to rule the country and then uh, they are not so uh, we and don't also have, the, 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 the we don't have, we don't have enough time but when you say country is ready or country is not ready what is the way for you to arrive to that con- Sort of no, I'm, what I mean is, listen. If you want to come to the uh, come to the power, then you have to support. You have to get the support, and you have to come through the election. So what I'm telling people are not ready to. The, they are. They are. They might be there. They have a base, but it's not mass people support. Uh, uh, they don't have mass people support to come to the power yet. Well, so Sudhir, thirty seconds. Uh, any concluding remarks that you want to? Ed. see i i am afraid it's going to be uh, although i am sad to say that it's going to be downhill for bangladesh economy for now because whenever whenever you know uh, whenever juntas juntas take over military juntas take over whenever there is uprising like some kind of a arab spring these things have not led to any noticeable stability or any noticeable improvement on the contrary on the contrary it is believed that maturing democracies need to be uh, need to be run by somebody who's good at heart but with an iron fist i think sheikh hasina was uh, corruption charges and the fact that you know she was putting people into jail and all uh, could be true but the fact of the matter is she was running a government which was seen as a government which was secular in tradition largely and she was very she was very pro industry she was very pro education and uh, she was she she is the one if there is anybody who could have fought the mullahs tooth and nail i think it was sheikh hasina so i, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I, have to, i have to i have to leave it at that and i think what we hear from abu and what we hear from you gives us a sort of a black and white sort of a picture of uh, her uh, leadership style or the bangladesh under her leader uh, leadership uh but we only can pray abuji uh, that things move in a direction where people okay. common men do not suffer as much as kind of uh, looks evident at the moment uh, with this uh, turmoil and crisis situation in bangladesh once again i uh, thank you very much for um, giving your time at such a short notice abu and with lots and lots of grace for you for suvidhi and for all of thank you thank you so much no thank, thank you. you thank you bye bye